morning, Mamba How Cam again. It's Sunday, the 26th of September 2021. That's the Mamba How River over there. That's the next one we're going to put a kaboom on up by the airport. This was the first canal that I put a bottle boom on, but now we have a third generation version of it. But even it is getting weak from the UV rays, and we're going to replace it with a 50 tire kaboom in about two or three days but this still does a pretty good job it's just a little bit weak on the bigger debris but uh, I normally would clean this out but we're gonna wait until we replace the boom with the 50 tire King Kong kaboom here but this one's been protected since mid-June there hasn't been any garbage going out I'm gonna take you on a little ride I had someone suggest I do a little longer video than one minute so and take you for a ride and show you where the other booms are. Hang on. Down the road a little. We got the Lady Kaboom, which was the third one that we installed. The third canal. It's our latest model with full-length coral weighted mesh skirt. Pink UV protected panels on top to help the bottles. And it's just down from this other one. So as of now, we have three canals along this road cut off. No plastic garbage has been going out for some time now. And the beaches in front are dramatically cleaner. In fact, in front of this house here, they are spotless because nothing gets through. And this is the next canal. This is where Lady Kaboom is. We'll take you for a little walk down and we'll check her out and see how she's doing here. Let me park my bike. This comes from right downtown Central Mamba How Market. And the clean out on this one was nasty. There's a lot of algae and stuff on it, but fairly low tide now but this one does a very good job I don't know where these cans and bottles are coming from they can't throw them that far from the street so and they don't grow legs but well this one could use cleaned out but the nice thing about the kaboom it's very strong nothing's gonna push by I can leave this another week oh it might go back up into town and then come back again but it always comes back so this is our second and my favorite one because it's the most advanced and I'm going to take you down to the very first tire kaboom that we made and installed on the next canal down it really don't have a name probably should have it's this the original it only has a weighted skirt on the capture area and on the wall side. It could use a full length weighted skirt. And we might end up dragging it down to the beach because it's too heavy once it's in the water. Drag it down to the beach to install the panels and put a full length skirt on it. This is the only beach right here where we go in where the jeepneys park. It actually has any garbage on it, but it's not from these canals, it's from the picnickers because in this town the trash cans are not allowed. We're working on that one. And this is the little peninsula here where I'd like to put the single stream recycling cage here, right on the corner, right in front of the Lagunde village here. It has no place to put the garbage, it just sits out where the dogs get it. Hope it gets picked up. So this is the next canal. We did a group cleanup on this last Sunday, Sunday before last. So this one was recently cleaned out. So there's only a small amount. They actually cut the grass here recently too. But this is our original one. Somebody lost a shoe. 
but we cleaned up the garbage on the other side last Sunday this was all cleaned out too but as you can see there's no shortage of customers here let's go down and take a look at the beach I haven't even been down to the beach for a while the original fabric boom used to be stretched from about over there to down at the sandbar made it nice for clean out but the sandbar keeps changing and I see a little bit on the beach I don't know where that's coming from you have to realize we got but in general I don't see a lot of plastic bottles like there was before and there's a bunch of fishermen and stuff that leave their garbage laying around so well I don't know how long we're going here what is it I'm afraid this is probably going to take all day to load I have to put it on YouTube because it's too file extensive to load it on Facebook directly so it'll probably take half a day but you can wait we need to get this a little more for the wire there there you go yeah one of these days hopefully education will catch up and I won't be having to scoop this out because I've been living on this canal since last June July now I'm down here every day for the last six months darn near well one as well let's take it down to the next one I planned on putting this one would have had a kaboom coming up in fact it's sitting on the floor in the shop right now but it's going to be made into the king kaboom to replace that blue fabric one that's starting to fail from UV so but once we get that replaced we want to do the Mambahau River one by the airport and then this one here coming up will be the last and then all five canals from the major polluting city on Camigan Island will be protected Yep, it's six o'clock morning music time. And here's the next one. This one I'm not so worried about. Yeah, there's some trash that gets by. But in general, it's pretty well very little flow unless we get some serious rain. As you can see, it's just a dry creek bed pretty much all the way up into town but when it rains man it can really go slamming through here and flush the garbage down like it was a toilet flushing it so so that's the end of the road and there's no more canals that way for quite some ways up to the grandstand so and that's my story for the day